been so 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 long but i am back and today i'm going to share with you um five ways i fucked up my first year in college college now many of you may know that i do attend the university of west georgia and it's been a long time coming for me, like, for real. My freshman year was so trash. It was so trash, like, it was so trash. But today I'm going to share with you all five ways that I messed up my freshman year so you all will not make the same mistakes. So let's just get into it. Late nights and early mornings. Bless y'all young souls. Oh my God. Like these were the days where like me and like six of my other friends would just sit in like the um, study room. When you're supposed to be studying, but they got big ass TVs and flat screens and stuff. And we were just sitting there playing cards or just talking, chopping it up or whatever. And we would legit be in there all night. And then turn around and have like a 9 o'clock class in the morning. If you're not out, do not do that. Like seriously, that will mess you up so hard because it's like... You want to be up all night and you want to talk and you want to play and have fun with your friends. And then you have to get up early in the morning. And nobody wants to be like, all right, good night, y'all. Like, you know, you want to sit around. And I'm telling you, just don't do it to yourself. Do not do it to yourself. Which comes to my second topic, which is oversleeping. Lord, if anybody know me, y'all know that I can sleep. Like, it's nothing for me to, like, sleep. Like, it's nothing. So, this ties into the first one because, you know, you stay up till about 6 o'clock in the morning. And then you got a 9 o'clock class. And you think, okay, well, I'm just going to sleep. You know, like, maybe two and a half hours. I can wake up at, like, 8.30 and hit the class. Especially if you live on campus. You know, um, but no. No, like, yo, I've slept through so many classes. And then when my mom sees this, she is going to freak. I'm telling you. Like, honestly, sleeping through these classes is not a joke. It's like your body tells you, like, get up. And maybe you set an alarm and everything. But it doesn't matter. Like, your body is tired, so your body is going to stay asleep. And when you miss class, you miss information. And when you miss information, I mean, if you're not cool with somebody in your class, then they're not going to mess with you. They're not going to be like, oh, he's going to know, so we got to test this day. Or, God forbid, you got one of those teachers who actually do pop quizzes. Yo, if you got a class that, like, I feel bad for you. Look, I'm telling you. If you are a night owl, just do not pick early classes if you do not have to. Okay? Like, just don't. Number three. Spacing my classes out too far apart. Now, coming from high school into college is different because you make your own schedule. And so, you're able to, you know, tell whether or not you want your classes to be like early mornings, you know, if you want them in the evenings or whatever have you. So me personally, I found out the hard way that it was beneficial for me to have my classes literally back to back. So if I have a class at nine o'clock and it ends at 10 15, my next class needs to be at 10 30. Because if I have a huge break in between my classes, I'm gonna go to sleep. And, like, especially if it's a break to where I can go back to my room, maybe get something to eat, and then go to sleep, like, I'm going to do that. So, if I have an opportunity to go back to my room, like, I'm going to go back to my room and I'm going to hop in this bed. Like, of course. Like, who's not? So, if it's beneficial for you, try that out. Try to make it to where 
your classes are back to back. I had a history class at like 3 o'clock, 3.30. And my first class started at, I want to say 9. I believe it was chemistry. But they were in the same building. But it was just so much time. And so I would go back to my room thinking, okay, well, I could sleep. And I would be exhausted because you got those late nights. We're staying up. We're chopping it up with our friends. Talking, laughing, and all of that. And then you got a 9 o'clock class in the morning. So not only do you not get any sleep, you got to hop up for this 9 o'clock class. And then stay up in the class the entire time. So you don't miss anything. And then... You get a break. So it's like, yes, okay, I get the break. Kid to go back to sleep. And then you end up sleeping for like eight hours. And then you miss your class. And so that was like a really big thing for me. Like oversleeping was a really big thing for me. Number four. Lord, 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 this procrastination. And I think I should have saved this for number five. Because this shit right here is like my life still. Procrastination hits so hard and like coming from high school is different because high school you have a lot of like unnecessary work that help build your grade. So if you have like you might have a project, a paper, you have hella homework, you know, classwork, things of that nature that will really help you, you know, boost your grade. But in college, it's not the same. Now, don't get me wrong. You will have some professors that give you maybe five papers and a, and a final project. And then you have like three tests. And then you have homework assignments. You will have some professors that do that. But then again, on the other hand, you may not have a professor that does that. Like this um, history class, for instance, my freshman year, I had a history class. And he literally only provided us with four tests and that was it that was the whole entire class it was four tests you didn't have any homework you didn't have any projects you didn't have any classwork you literally came to class you took notes you read the chapters and then you had four corresponding um exams and two of them were the midterm and the final so you really only had like two normal exams and if it wasn't for the open book exam, y'all, I swear to God, I would have legit failed this class, okay? Me, I am a huge procrastinator. Like, I put off things that I can do today, like, till tomorrow, till the day that it's due, like, an hour before it's due. I can't give you any advice because at this very moment, I'm, I still procrastinate. I try my hardest to get my work done because I like to go to the library after my classes. So I try to get my work done, but y'all watch out for that procrastination because it will take over your life. And finally, number five, which was lack of focus. And it kind of ties in with procrastination because it's like, I know what I'm here to do. And I understand, you know, what needs to be done. But, I mean, in the back of my mind, I'm just like, okay, like I recognize my problem, but it's still just there, you know? So, these are only five ways that I messed up in college. My freshman year was fun. But my grades were not. It is so easy for people to drop, like, their GPA. And it is so easy for people to just get off track. But it is so hard. It is really extremely hard to build your GPA back up. So, for all of my incoming freshmen, and these, these, um five ways can relate to anybody in college it's not even just freshmen but you know make sure that you're staying focused make sure that you know why you're there because you do not want to be one of those people who are in school longer than they should be and I know a lot of people say, oh, well, you know, it's not high school. You don't have to get out in four years. Trust me, I know how it feels to be in school for longer than four years. And it doesn't feel good because you're paying for this. So, 
make sure you guys, you know, stick to your academics and stay out of these little folks' face. All these little boys, I see all the girls all up in these little boys' face. Uh-uh, stay out of their face. And, you know, succeed in life because everybody wants to succeed and I want to see everybody succeed. But, um... Yeah, that was my little video about five ways that I messed up my freshman year in college. Leave me a comment telling me ways that you may have messed up or ways that can help me or anybody else that see this video um, better themselves in this subject. Um, yeah, and if you like the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe and all that. And I'll try to be more consistent on this channel, but... This is so hard, like, these upper division classes are kicking my ass. But anyway, like I said, I'll be back on another video soon. So, like I said, like, comment, subscribe, and leave your girl a comment. Hit me up on my social media and everything else. So, bye. I wish that you could see it, I could see you It's not that you're no good You're just misunderstood Now